okay yeah hello everyone welcome to our develop studio you know it's a youtube channel it's a new youtube channel so yeah this is my very first video i'm going to be showing you how you can implement this the ask confetti animation in your app so without wasting much of your time let's get started okay so now you have to install you have to create a new react app you can do that by typing npx create react app and your app name so i already have one installed so after that then install npm install react confetti that's the package that we'll be using for this animation so you can also install react actor drum because the way i'm gonna do this tutorial i want to do so that when the user click on the uh on the sign up or login button it will take you to the success page and thereby showing the um the coffee animation so you have create a file in the src folder for uh, the form and the success so now let's get started rfc if you want to use this you have to have uh, this installed this extension es7 plus react without alternative snippet you have it you have to have it installed if you, if you want to use this uh, extension so rfc to create a react functional component then let's import that in our app.js you can type imp import dot slash form so import form import from from import from from uh dot slash form okay so now let me actually start our app by typing apm uh, start okay so now let's create our form Let's just see. I don't want to waste much of our time. Input for slash. This type should be email placeholder. Enter your email. So and your your yeah, password for form. password enter your password so let's add another is two no. login oh okay you know I, I started my react app here so it is loading okay, so login and look our button Okay, so I don't want to waste much of our time. I have created the index.css file, so I'll just copy and paste the CSS. So let me copy and paste it here, then import it both in app.js and in the form.js file. Okay, so import slash index.css okay so let's see let's refresh still loading okay why that is loading okay so this is our app let's center align the uh, text two. Text align. should be center this is quite very very basic just overflow actually display flesh to five content center and item center to center uh, the div so the background color white padding very 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 basic so you know okay so now what i want to do now is when you click on the login button no validation here at all 
so when you click on the login button it should take you to the success page you get where you, where you will see the uh, the effect so if you have the extension installed here seven uh, snippets then type rfc then push enter so what we're gonna be doing here is you know i told you to install the arch router so now i'm gonna uh, import browser router comma, routes and route from the arch router done so let's put it here browser router uh, the reason why this is working at the same time is because i have this extension installed auto rename tag where is it this extension auto rename tag you can also install it it will speed up your uh, development so then routes so routes so here at the path should be home page and the element should be form so this should show up in our home page so now you don't want to redirect you don't want to direct uh, our user to the success page so path for slash success element should be uh, what success so, okay so we have that imported already okay now so let's decide that we're gonna be importing we want to navigate uh, to success page so let's import here chapter dom let's import use navigate from the ad router dom okay huh? so that will be let's create a, a, a submit event on this one on submit so undo submit so let's create the function that's why we are getting the uh the hero and we submit another function so our const navigate because to use navigate you have to work call the function here then you know when we submit a form first as you can see when you try to submit a form so that it is submitting by default it is submitting by default so you have to prevent you have to prevent that so by what e doing e dot prevent default okay so now we check again no more uh, defaults uh, no more default submission of of form so now so we can navigate you can then call navigate to what default slash uh success page so let's see no no validation here at all okay as you can see so this is where we implement our react confetti animation okay so now let's look okay, the success page first of all we have to import new states and use effects from react new states use effect so we also import react confetti from what react confetti okay so uh now let's create our state first of all let's uh you know react confetti is a component so react confetti okay so if you check your screen right as you would notice there is what uh the, the animation is working yeah the animation is working but that's not all that's not all we have to pass width and height as props we have to pass width and height as props to this uh component so now we want to get that from our window so let's say uh dimension and set no let's say uh yeah dimension and set dimension equals to what this state this state okay this set it to an object so with with the key of width and the value of what we know dot inner width and the 
a height which involves window dot inner height window dot inner height so if you console log dimension now so let's check this in our browser the console okay oh let's remove that first let's remove this first so we check this click f f to f to open the console Inspect. We inspect. The console. You see, we get an object with the height of what 55, 68, and width of 162. So now, so we can use our, our width. So the width was dimension dot what dot width. Height, you what? Dimension dot height. Okay, it's getting ready. So now, uh, okay. So we now have to create a function. That's what's called. Yeah. Const show. What should I call it? Show animation to be another function. So it also sets the word, the dimension, the dimension to what to this object. Set the dimension to this object. Uh, I have Prettier installed, so you can format it with what with Prettier. Okay. So now I have it installed. So yeah, what else? Ha. Ah, so you have to create. No, I, I imported use effect earlier. So now the function is best to take a function and the word dependency array. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add an event listener on the uh, window object. The event name will be what the size. So I'm going to call our function here show animation. So this event, this function will return. Uh, it will turn an object. This function will turn an object. It will turn an object which will also on the window object I am going to remove uh, the oh, it will return a function. It will return a function. Which is, which is going to remove event listener on the uh, window object. So, yeah, it also is to remove the event resize. So, I'm uh, going to call the function show animation. So, now for the uh, array, for the dependency array, we're going to pass in because the dimension. So, when our user when our state when our state changes yet when our state changes so this is when this this effect should run uh, yeah so uh, now yeah we are good to go now so you can just write this to uh welcome back It's a very basic uh, that animation. So let's refresh. So when you enter your email, it's gmail.com, and let's go to the four, five, six, and you log in. So you get this animation. You're welcome. So you can implement this in your uh, in your app. Maybe when the user signs up for your account, you can show these animations to appreciate him. Thank you. And yeah, that will be all for this video. Uh, this is my first video. Please don't mind uh, some of the 
uh, mistakes I might have made and please do well to subscribe and uh, like the video thank you